अपनी पाठशाला पर फ्री दिया दोस्ता कम्पिटर सेट आज एडभाइजर चीफ मिनिस्टर आबू मेथा पर इनोग्रेट कर गवर्नमेंट हाई स्कूल सबिमाते आज अपनी पाठशाला प्रोजेक्ट स्कूल से दिया दो फोर्थ स्कूल आ गुशे नागालेन्डे मेथा पारा कैसे क्वालिटी एजुकेशन नाथकिले आगे जब नो स्टूडेंट खान के हार्डवर्क डिशिप्लिन और डेडिकेशन थे एनकारेज कर लाइफ सकसेेस हम कहले आगत डिटेल्स चाह place our appreciation and thanks to Dr Anirudh of Apni Pakshala for selecting this school and for selecting schools in Nagaland to be counted among the 100 across the country it may seem small to us 10 computer sets and computer literacy to be given to students but let me tell you that this will be significant in today's world it is said and it is a fact that even to be standing at the same place you have to be running at full speed even to be standing at the same place you have to be running at full speed the uneducated people of today's age are not the ones who cannot read and write but the uneducated people of today's age are the ones who cannot use the tools of technology the world is moving at great speed the internet is changing the way human beings live technology is impacting us in every way of life every minute technology is utilized unless we adapt to the dynamics of technology we will not be able to keep up technology also enables us to empower ourselves with knowledge information and to take on the challenges of life this is why it is so important so important that we introduce technology education computer literacy amongst the children of our state because these are the children who will determine our tomorrow how we progress how we march forward will be determined by these youngsters who will be tomorrow's generation of leaders if we do not have teachers who are technology ready if we do not have teachers who are tomorrow prepared how will we prepare our children how will we educate our children here i want to take this opportunity to urge educational institutions be it government or private I want to urge the Department of Education and all the stakeholders to undertake measures steps to empower educate upskill and capacity build the teachers of Nagaland so they are they are technology savvy so that they are prepared to make our children technologically literate for today and tomorrow to young children I want to tell you that you should not have the word impossible in your vocabulary in life anything is possible some of the greatest achievers in this world are from very poor backgrounds you don't have to be privileged your parents don't have to be rich for you to succeed in life the only way to succeed is through hard work discipline commitment and the ambition that one day i will succeed one day 
I will achieve. One day I will make my parents proud. Regarding this project, the Apni Pasala, it's a project introduced by a single person, Dr. Anirudh Malpani from Mumbai. He is a medical practitioner from Mumbai as well as he is an entrepreneur. With his own resources, he wants to help the students community across India to develop skills in computer education so that the students feel empowered and motivated to learn their academic subjects. So with this objective, he is sponsoring whoever is willing to set up a apni pasala, a computer pot. So this doctor, he presents 10 sets of computer to whichever school is approaching him. Not only the 10 sets of computers, he also support with the background technical support. There is a dedicated team of technical experts from different fields of study and they form a community with the help of these technical experts and the teachers of the selected schools. So the schools are expected to train the students in whatever interest the students possess. The organization does not prescribe a particular curriculum, you teach this or you teach that course. Whatever the student is interested and whatever the teacher is willing to guide. So the background technical experts and subject experts, they provide the necessary facilities for exploring the talents of the students. And all this organization demands is that show us some proof that the children have developed the skills. That is the only one thing they ask for it. As of now, the organization has total 30 such school projects in India and in Nagaland this is our fourth school. The first school is in government higher secondary school Long Lung and two more private schools. One private school from Long Lung and one private school from parent districts Jaluki. And this is the second government school. And the organization, sorry, organizers are willing to extend this to any number of schools. His target is 100 schools in India. So whoever is approaching them with the genuine demand and with the genuine assurance that we will show you the results. We will make the students to learn computers during their spare time. It is not a compulsory course. We don't force the students to take up. Whichever students are willing to learn, they can come forward. And second main aspect is the teacher required to support this project is not necessarily a technocrat. Only thing expected from the teacher is that they should know how to operate the basic computer and how to use the internet facilities. That's all expected from the teachers.